Come no, on, Chef, oh, no! Oh, oh, you, it's not worth it, Chef. Chef, it's not worth it at all! Hey, what's up, people? How are everybody doing? My name is Dinesh. Today, we'll be watching the 14 episode of South Park. It's called Chef Aid. The previous one was Cow Days, and we saw cows worshipping cows. A cow, a big giant cow. That actually haven't, I haven't saw at all happening. Usually, it's people worshipping cow here, and you know even like on the road if you are like driving a car you are just by like chilling listening to music has it's nice weather outside just driving by minding your own fucking business suddenly a cow jumps on the road and you hit the cow all the people around you at that time would not blame the cow they would fucking blame you cause cow is the mother and cow is not wrong there's one thing about india that you should know like if you hit a girl or a woman or you hit a cow it doesn't matter whose fault it is the blame is gonna be on you always if a girl hits you still the blame is gonna come on you because people are simps they are fucking simps over here i'm saying that because it actually happened a lot of times i've seen that with my own eyes a girl would hit somebody that person would still be standing and girl would just fall down and people would be like oh my god what happened to you are you all right are you all right can you give us some pussy but not they're not gonna say that but like they're behaving like simps so everybody would start blaming the guy who actually didn't even do anything and sometimes they even beat the person so yeah never hit a cow or a girl well sometimes it's it's both the same thing sometimes a girl is a cow Alrighty, without any further ado, let's jump into the 14th episode. If you're not subscribed to my channel, hit that subscribe button. One of the full length reaction videos. Check out stuff on my Patreon. You can help support me over there. Help me keep the channel going. Alrighty, 3, 2, 1, go. School stinky food is bridges, good food. Dude, stinky bridges, stinky, stinky. Is it good food? Hell, are you singing, Cartman? This new song by Alanis Morissette, I can't get it out of my head. Stinky bridges, you got stinky bridges. Hi, boys, how are you? When is Mr. Hat coming back? <laughs> He's gonna get angry. Say his name in my presence. But we hate Mr. Twig. Yeah. Mr. Twig sucks. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it just so happens that Mr. Twig is far more stable than Mr. Hat could ever be. How? So he's the better puppet now. He'd be better used as a coat rack. <laughs> How dare you? Come on, Mr. Twig. Hello there, children. Hello, chef. What did you say? He's singing some new hit song. Eric, I'll be sodomized on Christmas. What? Is it your song? Then I wrote that song 20 ah! years ago. You wrote it? Yeah, back when I used to be in the rock business. And now... He was in the rock business? Wow, then you should get money for it. Yeah. Oh, I don't want any money. Come on, Jeff. Yeah, see my name on the credits, that's all. Then we should go to the record company. My dad's a lawyer, dude. He tells me about this stuff all the time. Stinky bitches, you got those stinky bitches. <laughs> stinky bitches was something I wrote several years ago. Hmm. I really see no resemblance between that song and Stinky Bridges by our artist Alanis Morissette. Really? Really? I'm trying really? to be cool about this, but you can't just rip people's music off. Well, that's music industry, chef. We're going to sue you. Sue me? You stole one of my songs, and you're going to sue me? Yes. I, I love this episode already, because that's fucking music industry. It's just full of shitty people like them. I suggest you get a real... I hate them. I, hate them. I fucking hate them. Good lawyer. We'll have the best in the business. We'll get my dad to be chef's lawyer. Yeah, he's Jewish. Huh? <laughs> Mr. Twig, is that you? Is it Mr. Hat? Mr. Twig killed himself. Yep. Ah! <laughs> Who did this to you, Mr. Twig? Who? Is did Mr. Hat did it, or is he killing it himself? Now in session. Who is representing? Judge Moses. Your Honor, Gerald Broslovsky. And representing the prosecution, I am Your Honor. Johnny Cochran. Uh-oh. Why uh-oh? Chef, that's Johnny Cochran. He, he's the guy who got OJ off. Uh-oh. Uh <laughs> Johnny Cochran has appeared to defend capitalist records. The question now is, will Cochran use his famous Chewbacca defense? What's a Chewbacca defense? What? I don't know. That's what Cochran used in the OJ Simpson trial. God damn it. What the fuck is a Chewbacca defense? Hey, you stupid son of a bitch. You didn't... I'm gonna kick you in the nuts! Okay. I'm sure that would scare the hell out of him, Cartman. <laughs> and for the exact same song produced by these cheats in the past month, mm -hmm. I'd say it's pretty much an open and shut case. Make the right decision. Thank you. 
At least one guy clapped him. They want you to believe that his client wrote Stinky Britches 10 years ago. And they make a good case. Hell, I almost felt pity myself. But ladies and gentlemen of this supposed jury, I have one what? final thing I want you to consider. What? Ladies and gentlemen, this is Chewbacca. Chewbacca is a Wookiee from the planet Kishik. But Chewbacca lives on the planet Endor. That does not make sense. Damn. What is he talking about? An eight foot tall Wookiee want to live on Endor with a bunch of two foot tall Ewoks. That does not make sense. Have you ever seen Gulliver Travels? He just, maybe he, he got lost or maybe he just run away from his family because his family was people like you. But more important, you have to ask yourself, what does this have to do with this case? Mm-hmm. Nothing. Ladies and gentlemen, it has nothing to do with this case. It does not make sense. Look at me. I'm a lawyer defending a major record company and I'm talking about Chewbacca. Yes, you are a fucking idiot. Ladies and gentlemen, I am not making any sense. None of this makes sense. And so you have to remember, when you're in that jury room deliberating and conjugating the Emancipation Proclamation, does it make sense? No. Ladies and gentlemen... You're just confusing people. Wow, he's good. In a teary-eyed courtroom, Johnny Cochran has just finished his closing argument. We find the defendant, Jerome Chef McElroy, guilty as charged. What? Whoops! Mr. Chef, you've been found guilty of harassing a major record label. The full fee of $2 million will be handed over within you 24 hours. You fucking music label companies. Or else you'll have to go to jail for 8 million years. It's actually for 4 years. Oh, sorry. You'll go to jail for four years. <laughs> this can't be me. And that chair, too. I want that chair. Why? Hey, that's my favorite chair. You heard the judge. Since he lost the case, I can seize whatever I want. What the fuck is in his hand? Spooge? I don't know what, it, what it's what it's Spooge. Mm -hmm. And if I don't come up with $2 million, I'm going to jail. Well, don't worry. We came over to cheer you up. Yeah. Ready, Cartman? Ready. I will do the German dance for you. It's fun and gay and kind of yeah. Hope you will enjoy my dance. Hilly, happy, like. Would you like some sauerkraut, German bud, German bud? <laughs> yeah, I like, like this. Okay, okay, children, thank you very much. No, I like to like it. Sure, just please stop. See, I told you guys it would work. <laughs> this is my photo album of all my times in the rock business. Did you ever know any famous people? Did I? Janis Joplin. Why Janis Joplin has needles in her hand? Beatles. Elton. Elton John. Beatles. The lavish party, loving many, many women. What's that? Nothing. Hold up, what was that? What the fuck was that? Oh, he, he's just lying with a goat. Germany. <laughs> anyway, take this too. Hey, that has no monetary value. What the hell are you taking that for? I can take whatever I want. But I have 24 hours to come up with your money. That's the law. I am above the law. What? I'm going to raise that $2 million, but I'm not going to use it to pay you back. I'm going to use it to hire Johnny Cochran myself and sue you. <gasps> you wouldn't. Watch me. Now get the fudge out of my house! <laughs> I don't know who would want to hurt you like this, but I promise nobody will ever hurt you again. <laughs> Leonardo DiCaprio. Mr. Twig, are you okay? Mr. Mr. Twig? <gasps> ah! Mr. Twig is broken in hell! Well, Johnny Cochran will take my case if I can pay his legal fee two million dollars. Hey, why don't you ask all those famous people you used to know for money? Yeah. They wouldn't remember me. All I did was cook for them. Come on, Chef. Everybody remembers you. But raising $2 million is not an easy thing to do. My only hope is to whore myself to every woman in town. <laughs> Welcome, dude. Yeah, but, but how? Come on. Whore myself. But they, they just went on a flight. What? Oh, dude, this they just let this kid yeah, fly alone? <laughs> Hi, are you Elton John? Yes. Sir Elton John. I was knighted, you know. We're trying to raise money for our school chef. We have chocolate nuggets and smoke. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm not a big candy bar fan. What? You mean chef chef? Mm-hmm. I remember when I first met him. It was about 25 years ago. How oh, are you, young, young chef? Couldn't get a break. Oh, oh, you're my cheddar cheese girl. You're soft but firm and you go well with wine. Oh. Elton, what are you singing? Cheese girl, cheddar, cheddar cheese girl. <laughs> hey, Elton, don't feel so down, baby. Thanks, Chef. Hmm. I just don't understand what my music is missing. Look, Elton, you are a great singer, but a retarded monkey could write better lyrics. <laughs> you need is a guy to write really good lyrics for you. Mm -hmm. I know a guy named Bernie Toppin who's working at Moth Burger right now. Why don't you get yourself some new thread? You know, some slick glasses and shit. Yeah. And so I got Bernie to write my lyrics. Oh, since then Elton is like this. So will you buy some of our candy bars to help him out? Yes, of course. I'll buy three crispy yum-yums. Three crispy yum-yums. 
Hey, Elton, if I give you these lyrics, will you write a song for my girlfriend, Wendy? Sure. <laughs> Would retain exclusive worldwide rights, including but not limited to Asian territories with a 20% commission on all domestic sales and sole ownership of any and all publishing. Fucking music industry. It still is like this on YouTube. 10 seconds of a little bit of some music and the whole video gets copyright claimed. Dude, we'll have chefs two million dollars in no time. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Chef. No problem, Miss Blaflowski. Uh, now about that hundred bucks? Uh, of course. Here you go. Damn. I got a long way to go to raise the kind of money I need. Well, best of luck to you then. How was it, honey? Pretty much what I expected. He knew. The husband knew. Okay. Okay. It's one of those couples. All right. They was just trying to get some black dick. And that's all. Yeah. Yeah. We are selling candy bars for our dying friend. He's not dying, <laughs> Cartman. Check your goddamn mouth. We have Nilla Crunchies, Berry Bars. What's this for? Our friend Chef. Chef's in trouble? Yeah, do you know him? <laughs> do I? They would have easily asked two million dollars from Elton John. He would have gained. Alright, oh, let's get this show on the road. Come no, on, Chef, it. no. Oh, oh, you, it's not worth it, Chef. Chef, it's not worth it at all. Just cover your eyes and cover your ears, that's all. Miss Crabtree, how would you like to use some sex toys? Sex toys? <laughs> like what? Like this very special device. <laughs> <I call> yeah. <laughs> yes! Do is put this paper bag over your head. Yes. And it increases your sexual pleasure. Really? Well, hell, let's give it a shot! Ah, oh, yeah, good. that's much better. It is much better. <laughs> I'll do anything for Chef. Give me a box of those choco numbers. Gosh, thanks, Rick James. Yeah, thanks. That's thirty-five dollars. Come on, you guys, we gotta hurry. And what get thirty-five dollars? They they could have easily made easy money from everybody. Jeff, good show. I can't keep doing. This. Wait, what did wait? Good show. I can't keep. Doing. Guys, did you saw? Did you saw her head? Did you saw her, her hand moving towards Chef legs? Yeah, thanks. Look, look, look. Uh, well, look at her hand. Look at her. Good show. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> It's killing me. Oh, come on. Buck up, little fella. I'm serious. I'm not going to make it. Sure you are, Chef. I'll give you a hundred more for another rump. <sighs> oh, no, oh, Chef. Hell. You just have to fake orgasm, Chef. You just got to deal with it sometimes. Sometimes you just got to fake an orgasm. Even if you are a male. I set up a camera and caught Mr. Twig's assailant red-handed. Now go arrest him. Yeah, that's true. What? Can I go, Dal? Is it himself? Like, did he do it? Weirdo. It can't be. Was it Mr. Hat? <gasps> Mr. Hat is back! It's over, children. I couldn't raise the two million dollars to hire Johnny Cochran. Now I have to go to jail. No, you don't. Huh? We went to a bunch of rock stars and sold them candy bars to raise the money you needed. Well, you can see here that we raised approximately ninety-five dollars, <laughs> falling well short of our two million dollar goal, illustrated. Yeah. I made about four hundred ten thousand three hundred dollars, but wow, Daddy, that damn money belongs to me. Why? Oh, take chef's money. That's illegal. I am above the law. Let's go. Ow! Why you gotta hit him? What for? I don't tell you how to do your job. Don't tell me how to do mine. Ow! Ow! What? Dude, Chef is gone. No more Chef. No more Chef's bare steak and pecan. <laughs> <laughs> chef wouldn't give up on us. How many times has Chef gotten us out of trouble? Yeah. Four. But what do we... <laughs> he knows four. Did you think I would just take you back? Like you can just walk out and then come back like nothing happened? Well, why are you half naked? Remember, you're the one that left. And I'm not going to take you back. You can just go to hell. You go to hell and you die. <laughs> you go to hell and you die. I hope you starve, you lousy son of a bitch. Why what are you, are looking? you all looking at? This is between me and Mr. Hayat. I'm afraid it's the big house for you, fruitcake. What? Jail? <laughs> no, why jail? I'll do the German dance for you. It's fun and gay and fun. I hope you will enjoy my dance. Hmm, this isn't going over so well. Howdy ho, boy. Hey, Uncle John is back. What are you doing here? It occurred to me that you might need some more help raising money for Chef. Mm -hmm. Boy, do we? So I called a few friends, and we all decided to come over. Everybody came in a limo. And Mr. Twig is at home. He has no idea Mr. Hat is even back. <laughs> why I mean, in, in his underwear? I mean, why is he in, the, in our underwear? You finally snap, huh, Garrison? What? Don't you get it, Garrison? It's all you. You're Mr. Hat and Mr. Twig. Finally, they're talking about this. Mr. Fred and Jeebie. Yes. I warn you, Chef. Don't even think of taking advantage of me in this prison cell. What? Okay, thanks for coming to Chef Aid, everybody. What? Are you ready to rock and roll? 
Yeah! Woo! California sun has sunk banana! <laughs> you still aren't entertaining any ideas of raping me here in this prison. Center. You want to get raped. You want to get raped. That's good. What the? Oh boy, we're free. Wow, what a daring rescue. Mr. Hat. <laughs> Mr. Hat saved us, chef. How is this possible though? How the hell did he reach the gas pedal? <laughs> yeah. It was chef who told us in the early days to keep trying and to keep pursuing our dreams, no matter how much we sucked. I love that man. Why does he have pubic hair on his face? Ooh. Yeah! What the bastard's doing? You know, when the Clash were on tour and we lost the beat, Chef would be like at the side of the stage going, Don't forget, pump your loins, children. <laughs> pump your loins, children. That's a weird sentence to say, though. It's a shocking world. Could be what's so great about it. It's uh, a world. What the hell is this? It's only for you, Chef. It's Chef, Chef. Wow, how'd you get out of jail, Chef? Mr. Head busted me out. We'll just see how long this chef aid thing lasts. <laughs> and now here he is, TV's Ozzy Osbourne! We're all here to help our good friend Chef, who has touched our lives in the past. I remember oh, when I was just starting... That guy's here, the lawyer. Pompadour hat. I thought he said, bite the hair of a bat. So I did. And the rest? Oh, it's just history. Now let's go crazy! <laughs> Bit Kitty's head off, you bastard! What the fuck? Why? 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 Oh my God! Ozzy Osbourne bit Kitty's head off, you bastard! And now here's Wing. But that's the most stupid thing. Kenny, why? Don't worry, Mr. Twig. Even though Mr. Hat rescued me from prison, I'm still gonna stick with you. Do you love him? Stick gonna stick with him. He left me. Do you love him? Yes. Then run to him. But I feel like I'd be making the wrong decision. Love isn't a decision. It's a decision. Right, <laughs> who we love. It would be much simpler. Mm -hmm. But much less magical. I'll never forget you, Mr. Twig. Thank you. You could have had threesome with Mr. Haddon and Mr. <laughs> Mr. Twig. Thank you all for coming to help Chef. This is a song written by a very special little boy. I have no idea what his name is, but who the hell cares? Anyway, he wrote it for his girlfriend. Wake up, Windy! Yeah. <laughs> coffee. Dude, that's your song for Windy! <laughs> Dude, can you do it there? Alive! What? What? A continuity error? What? Chef aid is over, and you didn't raise near enough money to pay Cochran's legal fees. Ha ha ha! I win. Johnny Cochran's heart grew three <laughs> sizes that day. Wait, Mr. Chef, this music has really touched me. I'd like to take up your case free of charge. You Yo! will. I will. So what's up with all the money? What will they do with all the money? See you in court, Mr. Record Producer. <laughs> no! Mr. Record Producer. Pum pum. I know he seems guilty, but mm -hmm. ladies and gentlemen, this <laughs> is Chewbacca. Nothing about that for one minute. <laughs> why am I talking about Chewbacca when a man's life is on the line? Why? I tell you why. I don't know. It doesn't make sense. If Chewbacca does not make sense, you must acquit. Here, look at the monkey. Look at the silly monkey. <laughs> there he is. Oh! Chef, how did what happened? Okay, where's Kenny now? I don't see Kenny now. Credited on the song Stinky Bridges. It feels great. I just can't find the words to thank all the artists who put on Chef A. Most of all, I want to thank the children. Yeah. Now, get back to what's important. It's Tuesday, and that means tomorrow is tuna casserole day. Hooray! Stinky bitches, you got those stinky bitches. Stinky bitches, you got them stinky. Alrighty, I, I don't know what happened with the Kennys. Uh, some singer ate his head off, and the next shot. He was there standing with the guys. So can he, is he alive? Is he dead? I don't know. But there was a continuity error or something. Something. Finally, Chef, it happened. I mean, if Chef had that much to all those previous singers and they could have easily given him $2 million, but that would have been a boring episode. It's nice to see everybody perform. Also, I want to know, was Elton John really Elton John in this or 
when somebody else is doing his voice. What's up with the Chewbacca case too? Uh, is that a thing? I don't think that's a thing. That's the thing that South Park made, right? It better be. Imagine going on a court and the lower is like, have you know? Do you know Chewbacca? Do you know? the judge? Would, the judge would be furious. Finally, they shaved, shaved chef, not shaved, saved chef, and Mr. Head bust out the teacher from the from the police station. So yeah, everything worked out for everyone except for Kenny. Poor guy got his head eaten. Alrighty guys, that was this episode of South Park. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe to my channel, help support me on Patreon, and see you guys tomorrow.